Hey, what is up guys? Doe here and whoa. Um I want to thank you guys for giving me 20 likes on the video already. Um it was released less than 24 hours ago. Like I'd say less than 20 hours ago. Well actually probably no, it was like 20 hours ago. But I only asked for 12 likes. If I get 12 likes before I get home tomorrow, uh I'd be expecting a touch. And um I got 20, I got home and I got 20, which is crazy. I was not expecting that at all. So, um, this tutorial, uh, I, I got another good tutorial in mind. Um, I forgot what it was though, so that sucks. But this tutorial will be over the color correction stuff, and I, of course, I made a tiny little mini edit to keep me from being rusty. But, um, again, oh, by the way, I also posted the file to, um, the, the middle finger, because I forgot to do it. I did it, like, midnight last night, because I forgot, because I read a message saying, um, no link. So, yeah. And other than that, I think we can get right into it. What I'm going to be teaching you guys is how to get this really nice looking CC, and I will... Um, I'll try to include a um, preset that I actually used in here. But um, it makes the sky, it's better when it's blue because almost most of the maps the sky is going to be blue. And so it, it, may, it really makes the blues come out. But you can make them any color. For example, I made this one green. It doesn't look too good here because the sky is really dark. But um, you can change all that in the settings. Uh, I'll show you how. And then I have, I'll actually run preview this. I didn't add any sound effects. Okay, so we can see here that we have some, we can obviously some, see some ugh, green diffusion. Um, and we can see the green in the sky, um, the green in the walls. Um, if you want to adjust that, yeah, I'm going to have this preset, um, I'm not sure if it's, I want, I'll just make another one just to be safe, I will we'll call it, yeah, well, here's what I did, here's everything that I included, um, I will save this, Im save the, oh, fuck, I didn't want to save the image, I want to export look, I export as sexy, a uh, little green sexy and finish uh, non-responsive of course all right well anyways I feel I have a feeling that this tutorial is going to be long already so I'm going to delete this little color correction I'll keep the levels on it's just going to be a flash and I'll keep all the effects on actually I'll disable one for now, so um, if we go in here, I think I have to double click and I have to open these two. Open and open. I will take away the turbine that's placed in the wave warp. And then I will close this up, and then I will go here and I'll open it, and then I'll just turn off the twitch, CC lens, and I'll fix compensation. Alright, so we should be good to start now. Um, I actually have a blur. I have a blur on it, which I forgot to take out. Open. Open sesame. Open. Fast blur. Take that out. And offset. I'll take that out. Alright, so we should be good to start now. Um, you want to make a new adjustment layer? Make sure your color correction. I usually like to have mine at the top. Because um, it affects every layer when you have it at the top. And look up looks because I use all of my color corrections with Magic Bolt Looks. Magic Bolt Looks is really easy to get if you don't have it. Um, obviously, you should pay for it. It's what it was made for, but it's really easy to get for free. So um, after you have this open, and you, when your computer decides to not be a oh, bitch, um, I have a ton. Of, God damn! Look at all that. Oh my. Um, you can, uh, you can pick one. Usually what I do is, because my magical looks is gain, it doesn't give me, um, lip gamma. 
I usually like to pick one out that has gamma. So I'll actually pick this one out. I like having, yeah, all right, good. So I'll just delete everything but the gamma. And I'll see if I like the gamma. If I don't, I'll just redo it. Right, so here we have, it's a little bright because of our levels, um, whatever. So I want the lift to be kind of greenish because we're going to make a green sky. Oh my god! That was awful. Hold on. So I'll reset this and I'll uh, do the green sky first. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to bring on spot exposure and kind of drag this up so that it looks like a kind of like a sun in the middle and only half of it is showing so it's like a semicircle. And then I'm going to bring it up to like one. And I'm going to kind of try to drag this in so it kind of only shows for the top. So I'll drag this up, drag this down. I want this to expand a little. A little. And I'll expand that wider. I'll try to. And then I'll just bring this down. And then expand this wider. Bring this over here. Alright, so that should be pretty decent. Um, now we're going to go to map, we're going to go to gradient. And I'm going to make it green. And then I'm going to bring up the whiteness, kind of. So we have that green. And I'm going to drag it up so that we don't have it showing everywhere. Now I'm going to add curves. It looks like shit right now. Oh, it looks a lot better on a brighter map like Pavella when you have blue. Like that looks a lot better, but we'll just sell green for now. It looks more like a toxic, toxicated color correction, which looks pretty damn good. Um, especially with vector blur, it looks amazing. Everything looks amazing with vector blur. I take that back. So, and we're gonna go to the curves. I've just made it simple contrast, and then go to the green. I'm gonna bring the greens up. You don't have to do this with if you like. Blue, you obviously don't have to do because I mean, blue is perfect, but I want the greens to really stand out, so I'm gonna do that. And then I think we're gonna be done with curves. Um, what am I missing out? I'm gonna bring up the greens a little on here. That didn't work out. I want it to be just a little. That'll be noticeable. This one should be a little red. I want that to have a little red. I want the shadows. I typically like my shadows to be bluish. Actually, I'll bring this more on the yellow side. So it's kind of green with a yellowish flare. And then um, I will add diffusion. And yeah, I'll add exposure along with that. I'll add some a vignette. That looks good. And then I will add a head softness. And I will kind of bring that down. Right around the intervention. Alright, so that should be fine. Um, I'll play around with the diffusion settings a little bit. A wee bit. I will make sure... Let me turn on the light here. To... Actually, I want to preview this on full. There we go. Yeah, the sky looks like shit. Um, I'm going to strength this to like, god, 80. And then that should be fine. Um, glow. I'm going to have to glow to like 60. Grade at 3, I guess. I don't want the size to be 200 because that looks like crap. So I'm going to size to like 10. So it really gets up, really gets the top. I'm bring the exposure up to like one because remember that this is when we flash. So we want the greens to really stand out here. So now that you think about it, I'll bring this back up to 90. And um, one. So yeah, it's gonna, it's supposed to be really bright right now. Um. I think that pretty much settles it. I'm um, also added a chromatic ab aberration. Just 
bring all of them up. Um, that should be we should be good to go now. So we have that flash. So what it normally looks like. You can obviously when it's white, you can see that when it's white, it kind of comes up with a green. I like that. Some of you guys might not like that. And then right when he shoots, it flashes. And I, it looks really cool with the greens because it really messes with it. <clears throat> and then you can obviously, when I add all the effects back that I did, um, I'll add, no, I'll add the, all the effects back and then we can preview it. And hopefully, because you're not going to get it right every single time, it will look just like the one that I showed you. Alright, so I think I got it. Do I have the optic? No, I don't. Where are my optics compensation? What the hell? What the hell? Open, where are my effects? What the hell? What the hell? Where are you? Alright, well, this thing refuses to cooperate. There it is. I'll bring all that up. And then I will... I'll make a permanent levels. So it'll be kind of like a... So drag on a new adjustment layer. If you're not content with how bright your green is, just go levels again. Drag it on and just bring up the RGB. So I want the levels to... I want, that looks pretty good right there. And if you want the green to be a little less, you can drag that there. Drag the white. When you go to green, you can just drag the white down, but it kind of messes with the red and the blues. So I don't like it. So I just like to bring down. Uh, actually, I just like to bring this over a little. And then. I like that. All right. So that seems perfect. So there is the color correction tutorial on, obviously, the color correction, like, it makes up like 90% of the um, actual um, edit. So if you have a really shitty color correction, no, matter, no one really will pay attention to how good the edit is, as long as it, the, because, I guess what I'm trying to say is the color correction is always there. So if it looks shitty, everyone's going to see it. Like, if you have one, if you fuck up one effect, it'll be like, um... It'll be there for like five seconds and people get on with it. But if you screw up your color correction, it's there for like the full three minutes and people are like, oh, what the fuck is this purple shit all over the screen? So um, there is my color correction tutorial and I kind of made this little over edit playing with new effects. Um, like that, I know you do. The blocks, it's actually wave warp. I just changed it to square. See, you can be a little more original by adding this stuff. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I'm sorry if it wasn't really the best tutorial. I mean, if I did blue on this guy, it would look perfect because blue is always perfect. But it's not, so yeah, too bad. Um, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Leave a like if you would like to, I guess. If you leave a like if you liked it. And then, um, I will catch you guys later. Um, if this if this uh, color correction tutorial right now gets twenty likes, I'm upping my I'm upping my standards here, you guys. Come on, because twenty likes and I will release another tutorial tomorrow over something really 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 cool. It's gonna be a surprise. Um, it's probably because it's a surprise because I really don't know what it is yet. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial again. Leave 20 likes for the next tutorial and stay active. And I'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye. Come on.